fasten your seatbelts, to experience research-based immunity-boosting exercises and yoga. It will include 15 exercises of 3 rounds, having the 10 seconds of rest in between. Try these exercises and yoga every day for optimum results. All the best! To get the latest updates on yoga, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And subscribe to Dr. Zio's YouTube channel to get a more interesting yoga workout. Day 4, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 1 Beginner Level Why, Stretch? How to do? Put your arms over your head at about a 45 degree angle while lying face down on the ground. Then you want to rotate one arm, and open your chest wide open, go from the left to the right side. Ready to go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Benefits It opens up the theoretic spine, helping you really open up the chest, and also strengthen those shoulder muscles. You'll really see a huge difference in opening up your shoulders, and really just improving your overall stature, and your posture making you taller. Next exercise, Vakrasana, Half Spinal Twist Pose. Get a free Immunity Booster Premium app on your phone today. It includes a personal health trainer, and an immunity boosting diet with all premium features, boosts your health in 7 days. Download this free app today. Take some rest. Next exercise. Vakrasana, Half Spinal Twist Pose. How to do? Sit with legs stretched, bend the right leg and pull it by your side till it rests beside your left knee. Place your right hand behind your back and left arm over the right knee, hold your right ankle. Push your right knee as far as possible and while exhaling twist your trunk to the right side. Take as much as support from your left arm. Now repeat the same steps with the left side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits Stimulate the heart, kidneys, liver, spleen, and lungs. It helps to reduce belly fat, strengthens kidney, it helps to prevent and control diabetes. It strengthens back muscles and reduces backache releases excess toxins and heat from tissues and organs. Next exercise, Thunderbolt Pose, Vajrasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. Thunderbolt Pose, Vajrasana. How to do? Go down on your knees on your yoga mat keeping the knees close together. Big toes must be touching each other while the heel remains separate. Lower the body placing your rumps in the space between both of your feet. Heels must be touching the sides of your hips. Place the palm of your hands on the thighs. Keep the spine and head straight and relaxed. Be careful about your backbone curving backward excessively. Close your eyes and relax the whole body while breathing normally. Be aware of each and every breath moving in and out of the body. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Improves digestion and combats constipation and acidity. Alleviates menstrual disorder. Regulates the functioning of reproductive organs and thyroid gland. Strengthens the pelvic muscles. Next exercise, Lord of the Dance Pose, Natarajasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, Lord of the Dance Pose, Natarajasana. How to do? Stand upright with your feet slightly apart. Stretch out your hands to the front with palms facing down. Do not bend your elbows. Send your hips back rather than your knees forward, as if you are sitting in an imaginary chair. Raise your arms up around your ears and soften your shoulders. After 15 minus 20 seconds. Release and relax. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. The pose symbolizes cosmic energy, and when you do you are dancing in the flow of the universe. Stretches and strengthens the chest, shoulders, quadriceps, front body, including the abdomen. Stretches the upper back, quadriceps, ankles, feet, thighs, groins, and stomach improves balance. 
Next exercise, jumping squats. Take some rest. Next exercise, jumping squats. How to do, standing position and lower yourself into the squat. Start the jump, jump as high as possible for you. Touch down with the balls of your feet. Bend your knees to absorb force. Repeat, do faster sets. Don't forget to breathe. Ready to go, five, four, three, two, one, go. Benefits, jump squats are a high intensity plyometric exercise that are excellent for building explosive power, conditioning the muscles and joints of the lower body and increasing the height of your vertical jump. Next exercise, Pre Pose, or Shoshana. Day 4, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 2 Intermediate Level. Pre Pose, or Shoshana, How to Do. Begin by standing upright in Samasthiti. Your arms by your side and shoulders relaxed. Bend your right knee to the side and bring your right foot high up to your left thigh. Place the sole of your right foot flat and firm on your inner left thigh. Keep your left leg straight with the foot firmly planted on the ground. Raise both your arms over your head and join your palms in the namskar position. Keep spine straight. Repeat the above steps with the other leg. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It stretches the legs, thighs, spine, shoulders, and arms, and strengthens you. It makes the legs strong, improves balance, and opens the hips. Best pose for posture-related complaints. Next exercise. Standing elbow to knee crunch. Take some rest. Next exercise. Standing elbow to knee crunch. How to do. Sit with legs stretched. Bend the right leg and pull it by your side till it rests beside your left knee. Place your right hand behind your back and left arm over the right knee. Hold your right ankle. Push your right knee as far as possible and while exhaling twist your trunk to the right side. Take as much as support from your left arm. Now repeat the same steps with the left side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It is good for brain development, strengthening of legs and generation of growth hormones. Next exercise, side plank pose, bases the shana. Take some rest. Next exercise, side plank pose, bases the shana. How to do, start in plank pose, pressing firmly through your hands with your shoulders aligned over your wrists. Keeping your core muscles and legs engaged, roll both your heels to the right. Stack your left foot on top of the right. Draw your legs together and push out through the feet. Press down through the right hand and raise your left hand. Keep your lower belly engaged and your tailbone long. Look up to your hand, or ahead of you. Build up to stay in the pose for 5 breaths. To come out, exhale as you lower your left hand and reel your feet back to plank position. Repeat on the other side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Strengthens hands, wrists, arms, core, and legs it stretches the backs of the legs. Improves sense of balance and focus. Next exercise, Nadi Shad and Pranayam. Take some rest. Next exercise. 
Nadi Shad and Pranayam. How to do? Sit comfortably with your spine erect and shoulders relaxed. Place your right thumb on your right nostril and breathe with the left nostril. Take 5 seconds to breathe. Now hold the breath in, Kumbhaka, for 5 seconds and then remove the right thumb from the right nostril and place the middle and ring finger on the left nostril and then release the breath from the right nostril. Then hold the breath out for 5 seconds and remove the middle and ring finger from the left nostril and keep the thumb of your right hand on the right nostril and then leave the breath out from the left nostril. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It also helps to alleviate respiratory allergies that cause hay fever, sneezing, or wheezing helps harmonize the left and right hemispheres of the brain, which correlates to the logical and emotional sides of our personality. It helps to balance hormones and maintains body temperature, lowers heart rate and reduces stress and anxiety fosters mental clarity and an alert mind. Next exercise. Butt bridge, glute bridge, Seda band hasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. Butt bridge, glute bridge, Seda band hasana. How to do? Lie down on your back with your knees bent. Keep your arms at your sides raise your hips toward the ceiling keep your knees and shoulders in straight line hold the pose for 5 full breaths and release back to the start position repeat don't forget to breathe. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. The bridge exercise is a back bend, a core strengthener, and a balance erected pose all in one. You'll be getting a great workout for your hips, glutes, core, and hamstrings. Next exercise, V up, boat pose. Day 4, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 3 Advanced Level V Up, Boat Pose, How to Do, Lie on the mat with your legs straight and feet together. Bring both arms overhead and rest them beside your ears. Simultaneously, lift your legs and torso off the ground, Flying V. Bring your arms forward and reach for your ankles as you balance on your hips. Reverse the movement. Return to previous position. Repeat. Ready to go. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It stretches the back torso and neck, and softly stimulates and strengthens the abdominal organs. It brings the spine into correct alignment and can help prevent back pain when practiced regularly. Next exercise, supine spinal twist, Septimatsyendrasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, supine spinal twist, Septimatsyendrasana. How to do? Lying on your back, bring your arms out to the sides with the palms facing down in a D position. Bend the right knee and place the right foot on the left knee. Exhale out drop the right knee over to the left side of your body, twisting the backbone and low back. Look at the right fingertips. Keep the shoulders flat to the ground, close the eyes, and relax into the posture. Let gravity pull the knee down, so you do not have to use any effort in this posture. Breathe and hold several minutes. To release, breathe in and roll the hips back to the floor, and exhale the leg back down to the floor. Repeat the pose on your left side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Knee down twist stretches the back realigns, muscles, and lengthens the spine, and hydrates the backbone discs. It gives your shoulders, chest, middle spine, hips, lower back, and upper back a good stretch. Encourages fresh blood flow to the internal organs and offers a complete detox to your internal organs. Next exercise. Seated wide angle pose, Upavastha Konasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. 
seated wide angle pose, Upavastha Konasana, how to do. From Dandasana, bring your legs wide apart, up to a point where you feel a good stretch, but can still hold the pose, maintaining a straight spine, and without falling back. Flex your feet, and keep your knees and toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Press your legs and sitting bones down, and extend through your spine. With a long spine, bend from the hips. Place your hands between your legs on the floor, and slowly exhale as you start to walk your hands forwards. Maintain length along the front of your body as you come further into the forward bend. If you feel you are starting to arch your back, don't lower any further. Hold this pose for 5 to 10 breaths. To come out of the pose, come up with a straight back, pressing your sitting bones down, as you exhale. Ready to go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits It stimulates the abdominal organs strengthens and tones the abs, spine and legs. Helps to cure and relieve sciatica and arthritis. It detoxifies the kidneys. Next exercise, Downward Facing Dog, Adoma Kasivanasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, Downward Facing Dog, Adoma Kasivanasana. How to do, tuck the toes under, bend knees and lift hips back. Raise the buttocks and push back and down. Waist lift and heels are it on the mat. Spine lengthens. Feet are together with abdomen pulled in, there is no need to arch back. Stay in this posture for 5 to 7 breaths and then relax. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It totally stretches your hamstrings, shoulders, calves, arches, hands, and spine while building strength in your arms, shoulders, and legs. It stimulates blood circulation. It's perfect exercise for whole body stretching to increase height. Next exercise, cat cow pose, Majaryasana, Vidalasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, cat cow pose, Majaryasana, Vidalasana. How to do, keep your shoulders over your wrist and your knees right underneath your hips. Child pose, Cow pose, inhale as you drop your stomach towards the mat. Raise your chin and chest and stare toward the ceiling. Widen across your shoulder blades and draw your shoulders bit away from your ears. Cat pose, as you exhale, draw your stomach to your spine and turn your back toward the ceiling. The pose should look like a cat stretching its back. Repeat. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It stretches the back torso and neck, and softly stimulates and strengthens the abdominal organs. It brings the spine into correct alignment and can help prevent back pain when practiced regularly.